Apple family. I'm super excited to be coming your way once again on the La Baby Spotlight Show. If this is your first time, you're welcome on the show that brings nothing but the best vibes and info necessary to keep you in the light at all times. I remain your hostess, La Baby, and today I'm going to be diving deep on this matter, knowing more about your underpants, the best fit and how to maintain and keep them so that your female reproductive organ will accept and smile to very well. Yes, that is it. And so um, some, may, some may be wondering out there that mm, underpants to why? Is it necessary for me to have any kind of um, prescribed kind of panty, Andy? I mean, Underpants, via yeah, underpants. Whatever happens, I can don anything and go my some way. I know you said that, right? But hey, ladies and gentlemen, I say gentlemen because your own is the boxes. Inside, you know. And so it should be our next edition. One day, one day, we'll talk about your boxes. Don't worry so much. One day is not far. It will come so soon. But this time today is for the ladies. We are going to start with um the best kind of preference okay how do you know the right one for you yes ask yourself first when you're going to purchase an underpants or panty that mm, how healthy will it be for my vagina or my v or my female reproductive organ most of we don't ask ourselves how healthy it will be when i say healthy there's so much that you can buy out there that you would use on your body or on your skin and have reactions or side effects tomorrow now, did you know that wearing certain types of panties can end up um, giving your skin a reaction or an itch or even tighten your vulva or vagina? I bet you didn't know. Well, it is possible. Yes. So make sure that when you're buying an underpants or panty, it is not a kind that tightens your vagina so much or your V. No, it shouldn't be tight. I hear ladies say that I know my hot Ah, when I'm so tight in those sexy, you know, wanna be vagina panties and all that, my V will be so excited. Well, no. Get underpants that are airy enough for infama. My infama see that is who they are. My family who I see you. Okay, that way you not have moisture finding itself so much under that teddy bear of yours or that private part of yours. And after you make sure that it's not tight, you also have to make sure that you are going in for the right size. When I say the right size, you don't um let's say go in for size six when you are size ten or twelve. No, that is. <laughs> that is a size that is not meant for you. So why don't you purchase the one that would fit you perfectly to save you of the drama tomorrow? Make sure that you are honest about your size. If you don't know your size, when you go to a good shop to buy your underpants, say, oh, Mr. Gentleman or Mr. Lady, whoever is the vendor, please, can you help me out? Know the best size that I'm supposed to put on so that I'll have a good panty on to feel comfortable. Yes. And so there are so many extra large large just look out for your size and um make sure that um you know <laughs> there's something that people say that um when you're going to buy mackerel or um another food stuff or anything there's production date and expiry date yes but they say ah panties we don't have manufacturing or expiry date so then the question goes like are there expiry dates for underpants? Ah, <laughs> because your aunties need a change. We need to change them. You can't buy an Andy in January 2021 and and discard it in let's say December 2024. No, who does that? Because you think that's oh hmm. No, <laughs> let me not burst your bubble so much. Every underpants you wear, in my own submission, I think that if you have the money, every three months change it, or at least six months. So it should be three to six months. Change your underpants. You know why? The more you keep on wearing that underpants for a year, two years, you will not be doing your vagina or your female reproductive um, part of the body. You'll not be doing that part so good. 
you will be rather causing the place harm more than good. I him fear ni sebi sebi en shesenia e wasechi na fi akofa problem fufu and you regret it one day. And also make sure that in as much as you are keeping them neat before discarding them, that is before the three months or six months is um up, make sure that um when they fray out, maybe sub sub in do that three months, now not six months, but they have started fraying out. The elastics have become worn out. Don't sometimes you don't have to wait. Okay, if you can and you can afford it, why don't you change it and do yourself the good? Underwears must never be repeated. Hear me well. Never say that when I Monday, may share underwear where I know. Maybe if you me when I came home in the evening, it wasn't dirty. So let me wear it the next day. Don't repeat your underpants. I know the male space. Some of you may repeat your boxes. <laughs> you know, I don't want to go deep. Some people want my dinner. I know I share the same boxes. I said, my back is a sister. I drew Said, said, me share, no, me when I got home, I just hanged it in the sunlight. I know we have bomb say ah, so I can wear the next day. Said, 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 so I find girl now my question is soon. Who who does say one month pen and share boxes? Ladies, you don't have to repeat your underpants. Even men, your baby wants to do that. be white. You don't also have to repeat your boxer shorts. That is right. Make sure you wash them every day. Some people say um they could pile them up for a week. You know, after days. However, I can't force you to do this that way or that way. But if you can, make it a daily habit. Okay? Some people say they don't have time. They want to soak them and dry them all at once. That's a choice. But make sure however you're doing it, you're doing it in an appropriate way. That is that is um the right way. So that you don't end up piling your underpants two months now. No one see you dress. I said, we are a responsible woman, sir, two months. No one packing because you have money to get so many underpants. And you keep piling them and say that, oh, Sunday, but I'm so keen in I'll soak all and wash and dry. No. Advisably, wash them every day so that your underpants can smile and say, yes, you're treating me well, honey. Or you're treating me well, dear queen. Yes. Also, continuing, make sure that. The underpants you are getting, okay? Um, preferably it's cotton. I'm not saying the um the nylon panties are bad, or the synthetic or whatever the lace is bad. No, but you know those kinds you can um wear them once in a blue moon, okay? Once in a while, once in a month, once in a week, not a daily basis because. These nylon and lace, they are beautiful on the outside, but they do not help the order of the vagina or the V, okay? They, they bring so much moisture, okay? Sebi sebi heat, no? Say, you see, you be an actual, from my bohono. Mr. Breda, say, Anka, oye ni po bekasa. So, ladies out there, please, wear panties that are cotton, okay? If you think um, some sexy panties are lace form and they will attract your future husbands or um husbands whatever it is yes it's okay blue moon you can wear once in a while you can wear but don't make it a daily habit because you'll be harming your fee so cotton is breathable and it wicks away moisture in cotton you won't just feel comfortable it's not about comfortability but it also helps to prevent yeast infections yes if you're wearing cotton breathable panties that are not tight actually yeast infections the white and funny one and you are making sure that you are eating right and doing that place right you won't be getting white and all those things just by heart but if you're wearing nylon tight sexy too and you know too tight, too sexy, deep piano dan na na wo tighten wo na wo tighten wo. Ebe do be you know your vagina will just cry and say hmm. Now feel to sense be pon say ah eh me sweat that that's how it smells. Unyado fo that is not how it smells. Shoot your V right and it will smell at you. If you feel or you still think that you like the um, thong panty, then make sure that when you purchase um, these panties out there, won't go toss every seven force. You make sure that you buy brands that brands out there, okay, that come in nylon. But you see that the the in the panty they have written maybe seventy percent cotton. This percent thirty percent. Check out for the percentages that have high cotton percentages, okay? If 
um, the top of the panty is let's say um nylon or lace that it's okay but make sure that the underneath parts where your v would um touch from your v to your anus um portion make sure that it is in cotton form that way you still have air flowing through and it will be breathable even though it is nylon or synthetic or it's lace and you will still feel comfortable so if you you can't let go that um, beautiful sexy nylon or lace then honey make sure that there's a higher percentage of cotton in the brand that you are purchasing and let's go to um the examples of panties that you can purchase so i said one that if you don't like cotton like full cotton, you can actually purchase the ones with higher percentage of cotton. Yes, that's the second type. And the third, there's also one that comes in a form of boxes, cotton boxes. We call it cotton female boxer panties. Okay, <laughs> don't be so scared when I say boxes. It doesn't mean it's for a guy. Okay, but just that it comes in the form of short shorts. Yeah, it's also fine. You can wear it and sleep beautifully. Charlie, and sex in Unquanema is slim. Once it's cheek, you're good to go. Yes. Now, how do we keep our panties in the house? Well, make sure that you fold them neatly after you have washed them. And the folding, there are so many forms. You can fold it in a simple way. Just fold it normal, decently, and put it in your drawers. If you have a daddy, so if you if you have the time, enough time, there's the kind of way you can fold it like a ball. The ball type, the roll type, the pancake type, there's so many styles. Choose what works best for you. If you don't have the hassle to go through that stress, just fold it neatly and put it in your drawers. Either you can keep them in your drawers or a decent bag. Okay, that is disinfected. You can keep them well and put it in your wardrobes wherever. And make sure that they are neatly folded and neatly kept in the bag. Now, how do you wash your underpants? Make sure that preferably you use your hands. Some use the washing machine, but onya dafu. Onya dafu. So, but sumia, please don't um, overwhelm yourself with the washing machine. Just use your hands and you'll be good to go. Because sometimes, over time, when we use the washing machine, they can make the elasticity of the panty we are wearing, you know, become so weak. And it will some, 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 expand them um, indirectly. So if you can use your hands, after that, when you rinse it, make sure you can use any soap, any soap that you use to wash. Make sure that after washing with the soap, make sure you rinse out the soap very well from the panty. And before you dry it in the sunlight, you can roll it in a very, very neat disinfected towel. You put the wet panty in the um, towel, then you roll it like a ball or like pancake roll it in balls like that and press it so that the moisture or the water in the pants is transferred onto the meat towel then you dry it in the sunlight and your pants will dry so fast and you'll have your pants to wear and you feel good if you also have time you can also iron it before you wear it but it's not compulsory after it has dried in the sunlight you can wear it as you please and if if you are home and you don't have anything to do i mean once in a while, you can let the place be free a bit. But when you have to don the panties, remember, do not wear panties for a very long time. Sebi, sebi. Some people bath once a day and they are still in the same panty for morning, 5 a.m. They never change their panty and sleep with it. Please, you are not doing your tonga or your vagina very, you are not treating it very well at all. So please treat your V well and it will smile at you. These are some little points that I could bring your way today on the La Baby Spotlight Show. I believe they have been helpful and today you know that when you are going out there the first thing is that know your size make sure you do not get tight panties to buy make sure that they are not so tight that they itch eventually make sure that they are cotton preferably if you do not um, want cotton completely make sure that if they are nylon lace whatever i mean i would say once in a while get those panties on but if you can't make sure that if they are nylon whatever the cotton percentage is very high you know and make sure that you don't repeat your underpants. Make sure you wash them the right way. Make sure you treat and um, arrange them the right way in your home, okay? To prevent um, germs and bacteria and all that from entering into the panty to cause um, bad health to your vagina. 
this is what I have brought you. We, I believe it has kept you in the light and you know how to move on in your journey to make your vagina smile and be healthy. For Mr. Chairman, El Chairman, <laughs> do have a blessed time. Remember to stay safe. Remember to subscribe on the button. Share to others so that they can be beneficiaries of this. My name remains La Baby. See you on our other edition. Remember to be a spotlight in the void of darkness. Meras, the way. Ah. Meras.